Afternoon, everybody. Mike Vaki, Princeton Trader, here with the closing wrap up. It is just after four o'clock. Um, I mentioned in the chart commentary this morning that they, you know, would have to come down and print, um, you know, basically, um, you know, sub. I think it was sub twenty-two to really get down into um, and, and retouch the Bollinger Band, which they did. So. We talked a little bit ago about secondary band rides. There's a potential here for a secondary band ride. You got a band touch, band touch, took a day off, band touch. Um, secondary band rides tend to get nasty in the direction that they are headed. Uh, there have been some, some secondary band rides to the upside that have been extremely nasty. Um, I can see one here. So this was an upper band ride. We're back in, in June. Uh, upper band ride, takes a day off, touches the band, hops it, runs. Okay, this was not for, this is four days you didn't want to be short. Okay, I'm not saying we're falling out of bed here. What I am saying though is this is a very aggressive move that they executed pretty well today. Uh, the other thing I mentioned, uh, this hourly chart has been in compression. It compressed all the way through uh, it compressed through Tuesday, it compressed uh, this morning, and once you got into the regular session, it just, you know, it started to expand to the downside, very steadily moving things to the downside. Um, we spent the day, we spent the day short. We had one little long, uh, 29 and a half, but then they, they went ahead and rejected that uh, just before lunchtime. And then, you know, we're still short uh, the 24 area. We laddered down into something. So it was a, you know, it was a fairly solid day. There were some lulls um, uh, uh, here and there, especially into the close, where it just really wasn't particularly interested in doing a whole hell of a lot. So here's the five minute chart of the day. So we open here 42.53 half. There's your high of the day. When you're opening print, it's the high of the day, you got trouble. You, you, you got trouble. Took it down to our to our, our proprietary lower level. They leveled it off there. This is where we got long because we were thinking maybe, you know, all right, maybe they take it back up. Took some profit here, started to fail at the proprietary moving average, sealed that off at, uh, at VWAP, brought it in, um, finally got back down below uh, and converted our lower level. And then, you know, we, we, we laddered down from there. So there were some decent swings today. We took advantage of some of it. We didn't take advantage of all of it. Um, but I stopped trying to be in every inch of the tape a long time ago. It, it makes your life a lot easier. You don't run around with FOMO all day long. Um, so tonight, I don't know. I mean, we're still above 4,200. Uh, we have some earnings that are coming up. I know Facebook is reporting. And um, you still got everything else going on geopolitically. Um, so things remain fluid. Uh, my suggestion for the bears coming into tomorrow is you got to take out 4,200. If you're going to go ahead and initiate a secondary band ride, then you really got to lean on it and, and, and keep it, keep it working, uh, to the downside because you have an opportunity for things to really get loose. If you could just apply yourselves for another session or two, what do the bulls need to do? They do the opposite. Hold 4,200. Try to get back above the hourly mid-band for starters and, and somehow try to grind your way back to the daily mid-band. We, we were just there three, four sessions ago, but we are now over 100 handles below. That 200-day holding off, can, being able to convert that 200-day at some point this week would be a massive accomplishment for the Bulls. And it, you know, it just as, as we sit here right now, I mean, it really feels like a bridge too far, right? Um, I'm not trying to get overly bared up. Again, trade the 10 handles in front of you. But as far as today goes and into tonight, the 10 handles in front are, are to the downside. So everybody uh, take care. Have a good night. Subscribers, um, subscriber webcast will be tonight for premium members. Everybody else, if you want to get these things when they come out, like, subscribe, join the circle uh, community so you get this stuff right away, whether it's charts, pivots, these webcasts, the morning webcasts, notice uh, you get notified when we want to do uh, some webinars and things of that nature, which will be coming up. 
and then everything new about courses and coaching and, and a lot of the fun stuff, uh, uh, a lot of that big value add that is coming in 2024. All right. Take care, everybody. Have a good one. I will catch uh, my premium folks tonight. Everybody else, see you in the morning. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook, and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.